Numerous locations across the Balkan region are experiencing severe flooding. Let me uh, start off by showing you this, that the thunderstorm warning is still in place in Serbia and in Macedonia, so the unstable conditions will be likely to continue throughout Wednesday at least. Another system is moving in, pulling into the Iberian Peninsula. Barcelona Airport already has a report of severe thunderstorms, and that's likely to build in towards Spain. On towards the rest of this continent, looking beautiful, dry and calm, but the dry and calm conditions conditions could create some morning fog, so please be aware of the visibility that could go down as much as 150 meters. Now towards the east, eastern continental Asia where we have been tracking strong typhoon. This is the one that we have been tracking and take a look at a picture. Please do not uh, venture out into the ocean nearby because the winds are already packing to 145, about 200 kilometers per hour gusts likely near the center of the system and the white waves will be as much as 6 meters high anywhere around this. And we're likely to see more rainfall accumulation, possibly about 350 millimeters of additional rainfall on top of the 140 that we have been already seeing in Haiko. And the southwestern monsoon flow also being very active across the western coast of the Indochina Peninsula. Now we do have another tropical depression that will be formed by tonight. This is now a low pressure system. It could track towards Japan over the weekend, so we'll keep a very close eye on this. As we speak, though, Hokkaido has been targeted with a severe line of thunderstorms, and this is likely to continue throughout the day today, so do watch out for the sudden weather change. Out across here in Mexico, we have been tracking this hurricane and take a look at why the Los Cabos airport will probably be stranded for a little while longer. You don't have the hurricane warning in place anymore, but you still have the tropical storm warning placed all the way up into the north. It is likely to become uh, a tropical depression by Wednesday. However, packing wind speed of 100 kilometers per hour still, and the rainfall amounts could top as much as 450 millimeters on top of the very saturated ground already. Where we really want the precipitation is out towards the northwest in California. Fresno region up to 39 degrees and the critical fire weather still lies there. We're not really going to get any uh, precipitation likely there. I want to finish off with some beautiful pictures coming out from Maine. A solar storm caused a rare opportunity to see the northern lights in places like Seattle, Chicago, New York on Friday evening. And here's a rare photograph of the green and pink lights dazzling across the night sky taken from the International Space Station. On that note, here's your extended forecast.